Hey there, so I had an idea because I know when I first started playing Minecraft and stuff, I had a lot of trouble with redstone. And so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of stuff with pistons and some doors kind of stuff. So I mean, I most I guess most of you probably know the whole thing with iron doors. So I have an iron door. I Sorry, I just put a resource pack on here so it looks a little weird. So... Iron door, you know, you walk in, walk out, okay? So you guys get the whole lever thing with the iron door. I think I have this later down the line, but... Yeah. So you got your whole door frame. And there. There's there's your thing there. Um, You have pressure plates. Same thing. These will hold it open for just a short amount of time. Or we have... Um, buttons. So, I'm assuming that's what most people know. And I know that's what I first used to know how to do, and that was about it. So you got that, and you got the whole lever thing. Then we have pistons. I have sticky pistons under here. So the lever pushes up the sticky piston. That is pressure plate. Pushes up a sticky piston. You got a straight line of redstone, and that'll push that up. Turn it off. Pressure plate. Get off. On. Off. Then you have a block of redstone, which will automatically power something. If you have a block of redstone by a door, you don't even. I don't. You won't even need these. You just. There. The door will stay open on its own. Because the redstone in its is its own power source. So if you put let's see, if you put not that way. That right next to a block of redstone, it'll automatically shoot up. And I Yeah, so it has to be right next to it. Or like that. Any of those will do it like that. It just has to power the redstone to get it down there. Alright. So, I have most of these with pressure plates, but you can um, so power two of them right there like that. And it splits up like that, and that's how you will power those. Or you can change it from a pressure plate to a lever, and those will keep them up. Or you could do a button like that, or the block of redstone will automatically keep it up like that. Now we got three, like that, same as before, and there's four of them here, and do that, and now we got four of them right next to each other, doesn't do anything, and that is because none of these are, sep <laughs> sheep, um, none of these are directly going into the piston directly, first if you do this, these are getting powered separately into the uh, redstone repeater, and that is why these will work. So, yeah. And if you go like, let's see here, one, two, three, four. I'll throw these on here, and you go like that, and you just draw a line out. Still won't work. Not gonna work. So, there's that. Now, if you do that, that one will work. This one will work because none of the redstone is touching itself. Touching another piece because these are directly feeding into those. Versus this is just going there. And that's it. Same with this one. Those two will go up because they're going up separately. They're powered separately. Then these ones, these four are all connected, and these two are hitting another power source. Even if you take that off, they still won't go on. Put it on, not going to go. If you alternate them like that, those will go. But because these are on redstone repeaters, they'll take a different amount of time than regular ones. So, the redstone repeaters can also mess with the speeds 
of how fast these will go down and up. Yeah. So that's for me that's preference. Um so you got your iron door and you've got redstone going all the way back to a pressure plate. I mean that's the same as thing as having a pressure plate right here. Walking through. Alright. You got like I showed you earlier, your door, lever. We go here. This will power, even though these four are going, but that's because it's only one, and the power is just flowing directly to one of them. Now, this. You got four of these connecting, and that's connected to that, and that's powering that. But because these four are connected, the power isn't flowing into those. Versus this one, actually both of these, the power is going straight from there all the way into there. So you don't, you don't need these. These would be a waste of redstone. So... I mean, it depends on your path of travel. Not like that. Um, so, I mean, you can do that. And then if you were to put another one right here. I mean, got that. But, you're to put another one right here. It all go down. It takes away from all the power. So, that's probably the problem that a lot of people get um let's see what else is there there's the you can oops not like that got all these lined up put a red snow repeater on each one of them sometimes these can only go for a certain distance before the power will just run out yep see so the power just kind of slowly like so this is a bright bright red and it slowly fades away into this dark red, which doesn't even power it. So you can throw a redstone repeater there. Or let's, or you can throw a... You can throw a redstone comparator there. But that won't power that last one. So this will give out more power than that one will. That will shoot the power all the way there. And this can go, as long as redstone still hits it, and it's still powered by the redstone. That, if you have two of those directly in each other, those aren't touching that, so that's not going to go. I'll show you that. So, you have your piston, and you got that, and you got another one right here, and... Another one right there. Alright, so these are each powered by a redstone repeater. We're going to get rid of that. Alright, so they're all powered. Yes? Yes. We're going to throw this way back here. Let's see, we're here. We're going to throw that there. Alright. There's no power going here. Throw this here. That'll throw all of them. But that power will only feed into that one. Because it, it's directly touching that. If you go like uh, that, it's not going to work. Because this isn't be the redstone isn't being fed into it at all. Because the power has to be put into the back. So, I'll show you that. So, you have one of these right there. You got redstone repeater. We're going to make this come in at an angle. There. And lever. It's going to feed into here. But well, this isn't going to receive it at all. You can feed this into there. But since that's all connecting, it's not going to go. If you go like that, it's not going to go either. Because it needs to be fed in through the back. That's where the power gets put. Let's see. So if you go like that. Oh, that's not going to work. Go like that. And redstone. That'll work, but that's because it's being fed into the back. 
Now if you throw one of these down right here, and you have it facing that way. It's not going to go because it needs to be fed in through the rack. Even though that doesn't really make a difference. There's certain contraption stuff that you can make that does those. And I am not a redstone expert yet. But this is just basic redstone stuff that... I know by learning a bunch of this stuff, it definitely helped me, especially with the whole piston thing. And I will show you guys really quick. Okay, I have four switches. Uh, that's not what it is. What is it? Oh. There we go. That's what it is. Um, alright. So. Alright. So. Some people, they don't know this, and that's alright. So, pistons and sticky pistons. They basically do the same thing. I'm gonna throw a repeater there and there. There and there. Not there. Alright. This will save you some redstone. Redstone is fairly easy to come by when you get down to its level. I don't know exactly what level it's at, but when you go in ravines and stuff, find it big time. All right, there, they're all up. There, they're all up. All right, now throw that on each one of them. Those will stay there. Those will not leave. They're just pushed right up there. And those? will keep the blocks held onto them because they have a slime ball on them. And I will show you how to make them. Maybe. <laughs> Eight of that. Throw that in there. We need... Um, now I gotta think. Oh my god. I think it's that. We're gonna need a... What is a slime ball con considered? We'll just take one of those. And... Oh, we're gonna need a crafting table. And, um... I think you need iron ingot. I don't even know. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this, but I don't even remember how to make it. Alright. So you're gonna need those, that, that, then it's that. No, it's not that. Oh my god, wait. I'm so stupid. Alright. There you go, okay. Sorry. There's the piston. Alright, so you'll take all of that. And then you'll take your piston. And then one slime ball, one sticky piston. So, it's fairly simple. So, that's that's basic redstone stuff. Um, I do a little bit of, well, the last couple of videos I've done has had redstone. So, the stairs have a little redstone in them. These are retractable. So, they have the daylight sensor, which will push them in and out. And let's just go back here. So, these both have... Um, redstone repeaters on them but you could just push that there and that'll be fine too either one works I do that even though it looks nicer in my opinion but I and nobody's gonna see it so it doesn't really matter yeah and that one I just threw that under there so yeah I think I did the same thing on this one yeah this one's just alright let me get back there and I'll show you. So I threw a stone all the way down here. So this is right next to there. And this one is to the back of it. Okay. So there's a little difference. I can go show you that right now. If I get over here. Alright. Throw that there. We need that. We need, we need that. We need that. 
Oh man. All right. So you have that. You have that. 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 You have that. That. Do. Do. All right. So got that. So like this, is like the flooring of whatever. Let me throw that there. Those will work. And as long as this gets redstone power, that'll work. Um, I don't think you can. What did I? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, you can't place it on there. Um, I think if you were to do that. That'll just pop them off. Because these move. So. There you go. There's some basic redstone. If you guys like this tutorial on some basic redstone stuff, I hope it helped. Because... When I was trying to figure out redstone stuff, I had no idea of what to do. And I looked up a bunch of videos, and I think I finally had found one. And I can do a more in-depth one with stuff other than pistons. Um, yeah, so subscribe for more tutorials and other videos. Like, comment um, other tutorials you want me to do. And sh Oh, shoot. Um... And things to show you what, how to build. It doesn't have to be with redstone. It can be with whatever. Um, and check out my previous video. There we go. Um, on how to build this retractable staircase. So easy. You just need the daylight sensor, which is the hardest thing to get. And my other video on how to get an automated sugarcane farm. Oh, look at that. The glass looks so cool. I love it. All right. And if you guys are wondering, just if you're wondering, resource pack, uh, faithful 32 pack, and uh, that one. I've never used. I just started using resource packs, and I really like them. I really like them because I'll show you one more thing really quick. All right, I think this is so cool. I love this. Oh, and look at the moon. The moon looks so pretty. Look at the water. Yay, it looks so cool. All right, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at, oh my God, look at the bedrock. <whistles> All right, anyways, <laughs> that is it. Goodbye, and, and I hope you guys at least learned a little bit on how redstone works. So, yep, all right, thank you.